A spokesperson for the city of El Paso says the city has no tourism master plan, but she says the city does have a strategic plan that focuses on two types of tourism. So in tonight's Tough Questions, what kinds of tourism does the city of El Paso promote? And we're talking about eco-tourism um, eco as well as historical tourism. For weeks now, I told you about El Paso's rich history and how it goes unnoticed by many El Pasoans and visitors. But the city says it does work on making our history available to anyone who's interested through the Visit El Paso app and website. And there's another kind of tourism the city's now highlighting, eco-tourism which focuses on exploring our region's natural wonders and history by foot power rather than horsepower. And what I mean by that is we've been developing trail systems and we've been developing partners in different parts of the city, whether it be the Paso del Norte Health Foundation, the County of El Paso, in order to build out a county-wide trail system. El Paso has 400 years of history, which is great for us to, you know, go in and tell the message to everyone. But we also have the outdoors. We're the only city in Texas with a mountain, so that's something that is we're very proud of and that we really can, can pay the promise. City tourism officials also note it's often difficult to maintain access to various historical areas around town because of property rights and safety issues. For example, I pointed out El Paso has a lot of tunnels running to or across the border dating back to Prohibition and when Asian workers were barred from living in the U.S. People seem fascinated by that history, and other cities like Seattle offer tunnel tours. But it really depends on the accessibility of some of those projects. Um, Seattle's, for your, your example of Seattle's, like, are they safe? They work very hard to, in order to develop and make sure that they're safe. Some of the pro some of the work that we do, it's it's really about making sure that it's safe for the community. Is it safe for them to enter? We can certainly reference it, um, but is it safe? No. How much is it? Are we having to invest in terms of making sure that we are able to develop that those projects? So and that may be the toughest question of all for our community to answer. How much money are we willing to spend and how many resources should we expend to safely preserve and promote our history as well as provide the attractions that people would be willing to travel hundreds of miles to see? Those are ultimately political questions that are answered at the ballot box and through advocacy.